Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you one scenario based question which was recently asked in a startup for the Power BI developer role. So this question was sent to me by one of my LinkedIn connections. The thought of creating a video on this so that it can be shared with you all also. Okay, so let's start the video and before that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Okay, so uh, this was the question given by the interviewer. So if you can see on the screen, so this is the data set provided where we have four columns product, Monday orders, Tuesday orders, Wednesday orders. Okay, different products P1, P2, P3 and their respective orders on different days, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So the interviewer asked to create this new column where it should show me 7, 5 and 9. What is this 7, 5 and 9? It is the maximum number of order that is placed in any of these days. Okay. So if you can see on the first record, so on Wednesday, 7 was the number of orders that was placed. So I should get it as 7. Similarly for the second row, 5. For the third row, it should be 9. Okay. So you have to create a column where we have to generate a number which, which shows me the maximum number of orders placed in any of the days. Okay, so this is the requirement. Let us see now how we can proceed with this. So in the Power BI, I have already loaded this table. If you can see on the screen. So this is the same product, Monday orders, Tuesday orders, Wednesday orders, same uh, table. Okay, now we will create a calculated column, which was the requirement. Okay, let's create that column. Now this can be solved using two ways. One using if or nested if and the other one is switch. So in this video, I will tell you how we can do this using switch. Okay. And I want you to give me the answer of this question using if in the comment box. Okay. So I will discuss the switch one. Okay. So let us proceed with the solution. So I will name it as uh, max orders. Okay. Max orders is equal to. So here we'll make use of switch function as I already told switch. And inside this switch function, I will use true function. Okay. Why I'm using true function? Because I have to look for a situation where our condition is true. And once it is true, give me the result. So that's why I'm making use of true function here. Okay. Now what will be my value one and the result one? Okay. So first of all, I will compare the Monday orders. Okay. So if Monday orders is greater than Tuesday orders. Okay and and operator at the same time monday orders is greater than wednesday order then then means comma then give me monday orders okay then give me monday orders so this is my first condition okay i hope it is clear it will compare with the Tuesday orders and at the same time it will compare with the Wednesday orders. If both the condition meets, then give me the Monday orders. Else means the next value. The next value will be Tuesday orders. Okay. So if Tuesday orders is greater than Monday orders, it is greater than Monday orders and at the same time Tuesday orders is greater than Wednesday orders, then give me Tuesday orders right because that will be my maximum so this is tuesday orders and then the next a condition will be if my wednesday order is greater than monday orders then at the same time when it is uh, greater than tuesday orders then give me wednesday orders right so this is how we have made this uh, conditions. So first of all, switch will check this first condition. If it is true, it will give me the result. Then it will check the second condition. If it is true, then it will give me the result as per what we have uh, designed. And if the third condition is satisfied, then this should be my result. Now let us see what does the result comes out to be. So as you can see on the screen, the maximum order 759 we have got through this calculated column. And this is what was required, right? 759. I hope it is clear to you now, but now you have to tell me the same answer using if. Okay. So let me know in the comment box your answer. So please share the video to all your friends and colleagues, whoever are in need of this and thanks for watching the video.